Hi, it's Mike at Completely Human, and today I'm reviewing these Flare Audio Isolate Mini, the titanium ones, which are the most expensive ones. Um, I'll get straight to the point, shall I? Um, I really like them. In fact, these are my second lot. I lost this, uh, the first one on holiday, so I bought some more, so I like them. Um, I do think they're a bit pricey though. Um, but if you don't mind spending some money on yourself and you appreciate having noise reduction and uh, being able to focus better if you find that it's noises around you are distracting, then I think they are a good buy. So I'll go into a bit more detail though. So first of all, why do I use earplugs in the first place? Um, two reasons mainly. First of all, I find it really hard to focus when there's background noises, people are talking, even the neighbors downstairs. Whenever I hear talking, my I kind of get distracted, I find it hard to concentrate. But also my um, hearing is quite sensitive. So if I go to a public place, uh, especially a noisy place when there's music or a lot of people talking or shouting, um, I find it quite overwhelming and really uncomfortable. So what these do, and um, one thing I like about them is that they don't, uh, they, they seem to reduce sound through all the frequencies, which means you can still hear, you can still have a conversation if you pay attention to what people are saying and you look at them while you're talking. Um, but it's just not as boomy, not as overwhelming. Um, so that's why I like them. Um, so as I say, they kind of filter out, the, the whole point of these ones is that they are made of metal, not just foam. The foam apparently filters out the top end, the, um, the high frequency noises, but leaves the more boomy sound. So all you can hear is vroom, 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 and it's not great if you're having a conversation or if you're actually trying to listen to someone, you just want to walk around town. Um, On the negative side though, the foam bits on the end can split uh, quite easily. I've had, I had a couple of them split on me. Apparently they're only supposed to last four to six weeks. You have to wash them frequently between use, which I know sounds obvious, but sometimes you forget because you just put them back in their little bag, which I'll show you in a second, and they go back in your pocket. So they, they have kind of a shelf life. Um, so of course you have to keep buying them. So every four to six weeks you spend about another 10 pounds on, um, on the foam bits. If you don't mind doing that, then it's okay. I'll show you what comes in the packet. Okay, so in here, there are, this is the main thing, okay? And then you've got three different size foams that go over it and a little bag. For 50 quid, I wouldn't have minded a little box instead, to be honest, but you get a bag. Okay, so in here, this is what you pay your money for. There you go. That one and that one. They really are quite small, as you can imagine. Now, these are the mini ones, and I got the mini ones because I wanted to see if I could sleep with them, or um, at least I thought they'd be more comfortable. I haven't tried sleeping with them. I use um, foam ones to sleep in. Another advantage of these, of course, is that they look okay um, quite discreet in your ears, so your wife's not as embarrassed walking around uh, town with you with great big orange earplugs sticking out your ears, I am told. So, you get these two, and these, this is where the magic happens apparently, so the titanium um, absorbs different uh, spectrums of uh, different uh, frequencies of sound. You get medium, small, and extra small. Now, I've found that the small and extra small are fine for my ears. I don't think I've got particularly small ear canals, but the medium ones seemed a bit big. You get these guys out of here. Uh, they look like that. And what you do is you stick him on there like that. And just like most earplugs, there you go. To take it off, you just twist it. So it won't come out, it won't come off ideally when it's stuck in your ear, but it will come off if you twist it. Like with most earplugs, what you do, you kind of roll it between your fingers, pull your ear back, stick it in there. So as you can see, it looks, I don't know if you can see it there to be honest, but it looks quite discreet. It doesn't really stick out too much and you can pull it out quite easily. And what I find when I have these in is I can still have a conversation with people. I am, um, 
if I look at them, kind of do a bit of lip reading, but I can tell exactly, I can hear my own voice now. Um, obviously you can through bone conduction, and that's how the whole thing works. You hear sound through the bone conduction of your skull, so it bypasses your ears, but you're still getting, your auditory nerves still getting um, some sound frequencies. Um, yeah, so to wrap it up, I like them. I find them comfortable. I use them when I'm out shopping in Brighton or especially in Churchill Square because it's horrendous and there's too many people, but that's just me. I uh, use them when I go to pubs, clubs, well not pubs, but clubs where there's a band on, that kind of thing, and definitely for a, for a blog writing and, and when I'm trying to focus. Um, they are a bit on the pricey side. I can't compare them to the aluminium versions, which are half the price at £25. Um, so I can't really say if it's worth twice the money. But um, if you're anything like me, then well, I basically end up, just end up buying the most expensive thing, thinking I'm getting a better deal. That's just my personality. Uh, if you're going for a decent set of earplugs for those reasons, then I do recommend them. They do cost £50. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say go for it there. Yeah, it's a good buy. There you go.